So hi friends, I am Dr. Anshul Bansal joining you on the Anacademy platform and today's YouTube live we will study uh, arthritis, the osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis in just 20 minutes very important for your need PG examination also because in se related in tino se related a question aane ke pure pure chances hai in your this year's need PG okay uh, so let's start to today's session about arthritis in just 20 minutes okay before starting mein jaldi jaldi se uh, bata deta hu aapko about our paid subscription plans available for the need PG okay on an academy the first is the plus subscription where you will get access to all our live and recorded video lectures question banks comp, uh, live tests and quizzes uh, you can study device on your choice on any time and also printed notes for 12 months or more and you can use this code to get extra 10 percent off the second one as the best one on any digital platform is the iconic one here you will get in extra all of the prep letter and here on an academy in extra you will get while live well structured batches as well as you will get it individual assessment of every test that you will give you can use this code again to get extra 10 percent off and focusing on different groups of examinations like fmg next etc we have started a dedicated badges to the following courses also and for the last one month package for neat pg we have started a uh, neat pg one month package which is very good and personally speaking also it contains everything and i would guide uh, recommend you to buy it okay it is available for just 4500 and for the uh, students for this year's need pg grand test series we have scheduled and it is a schedule uh, and i have told you multiple times that last time pe revision karne ka and apne aap ko analyze karne ka the best tarika is giving grand test and doing question practice and not only just giving grand test the reading its solutions is also very important so please go for the grand test and for the students who will be subscribing for 12 months or more we have a limited time period effort just may we will give them 12 months of the uh, two months of that subscription absolutely free and for our MBBS students four year subscription plan pay, we are having a special offer which is available for just 75,000 for the entire four years and that to the iconic subscription okay and i would suggest you to buy a plan which have longer duration of action because the cost per month decreases significantly and also please 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 listen to our special classes because these are very interactive live classes which will give you extra edge over everybody else you just need to download the unacademy app and subscribe using my code both of which are absolutely free also we are running a bugs bounty program in which if you find any inappropriate content in any of our educators lecture you can contact a team in the link given below and if you are found correct you will be provided with handsome discounts and offers okay so let's start today's session about arthritis sabse pehle arthritis basically three types ke hote first is orthoarthritis which are degenerative joint cartilaginous diseases inflammatory arthritis due to inflammation or any other systemic condition or the septic arthritis which we have covered already in the infection wala part now osteoarthritis is also of two types the primary and secondary primary osteoarthritis is a progressive natural disease jo almost sub mein hoti after a certain point of age and it there is no pre-arthritic condition or there is no any other bony pathology um, precursor to this orthoarthritis but in secondary osteoarthritis you have some intra-articular fracture or any other bone diseases uh, which will lead to this arthritis and it usually occurs at a young age this is your secondary osteoarthritis 
now inflammatory osteoarthritis rheumatoid arthritis which is an autoimmune disease psoriatic arthritis which is also an autoimmune disease and crystal induced arthritis which are the gout and pseudo gout are in main differentiating feature is gout mein there will be monohydrates crystals which are of sodium salts not of calcium salts but in pseudo gout the calcium pyrophosphate will be accumulated so gout mein calcium salts nahi honge pseudo gout mein calcium salts honge so firstly we will study about the rheumatoid arthritis usse pehle ek aur classification hota hai arthritis ka that is mono arthritis single joint is involved and more than one joint is involved it is the polyarthritis so pyogenic arthritis hemophilic arthritis and the secondary osteoarthritis these are monoarthritic gout is polyarthritic rarely it is monoarthritic so teen hote hain monoarthritic basically and rest all are the polyarthritis okay now rheumatoid arthritis rheumatoid arthritis it is an autoimmune disease ओके okay, जिसमें क्या होता है आईजीजी एंटीबॉडी के एफसी फ्रेगमेंट के अगेंस्ट देयर इज अ एबनॉर्मल इम्यूनोलॉजिकल रिस्पांस फॉर्मिंग ऑटो एंटीबॉडीज एंड दीज ऑटो एंटीबॉडीज आर डिटेक्टेड इन सीरम एज रिमेटॉइड फैक्टर्स और आरए रिमेटॉइड आर्थराइटिस फैक्टर आरए फैक्टर बट ये ध्यान रखना द आर ए फैक्टर विच वी डिटेक्ट इन द सीरम इट इज ऑफ आई जी एम टाइप ओके इट इज ऑफ आई जी एम टाइप फॉर्मड अगेंस्ट आई जी जी रिमेंबर सो दीज आर द डायग्नोस्टिक क्राइटेरिया ऑफ योर रोमेटॉइड आर्थराइटिस एंड आउट ऑफ दीज इफ फोर और मोर थिंग्स आर प्रेजेंट the diagnosis is of rheumatoid arthritis what are these morning stiffness swelling uh, in the uh, joints or hands and wrist but these swellings are very importantly symmetrical swellings the presence of rheumatoid nodule or rheumatoid factor positive or x ray changes okay <coughs> now ek hla marker you have to remember that is hla dr1 or drw4 dr1 for the rheumatoid arthritis okay and rheumatoid arthritis mein the characteristic feature is this this is very important in rheumatoid arthritis synovium or synovial membrane is affected first and it is the chief site for the pathology but in the osteoarthritis this cartilage jo hota hai this cartilage is affected first and it is the primary site of the pathology okay so synovium uh, is affected so there will be increase in the synovial fluid hypertrophy of the synovial membrane and inflammation and it will lead to a uh, hypertrophy of the synovium and it forms a special structure called as panus and this panus infiltrates the joint space and there will be obviously fibroblasts macrophages and other uh, inflammatory medias will go there leading to the destruction of the joint space so synovial membrane and panus important for the rheumatoid arthritis and after the panus these will form adhesions and ye jo adhesions honge this will lead uh, to the decrease in the joint space leading to the ankylosis firstly there will be fibrous ankylosis leading to the bony ankylosis and when the joint is destructed fully there can be subluxation or destruction of the joint and also there will be periarticular osteoporosis okay here you can see destruction ho gaya hai joints ka complete destruction so there is subluxation or dislocation of these joint metacarpophalangeal joint with periarticular osteopenia you can see and destruction of the joint space now diagnosis most commonly 20 to 50 years age mein women ke andar these are most commonly affected these are most commonly affected in the women and important baat is it is an acute condition which is symmetrical theek hai multiple joints are involved which is the symmetrical joints and most commonly 
metacarpophalangeal joint is involved and that too of the index finger okay and that too of the index finger most commonly the uh, metacarpophalangeal joints mp pip ye dhyan rakhna dip that is distal interphalangeal joint is never involved in rheumatoid arthritis it is involved in osteoarthritis less commonly hip joint and other joints can be involved so this is a typical feature of a rheumatoid arthritic hand theek hai firstly there will be these are typical features and first of all in later stages that there will be botanier's deformity of the thumb and swan neck deformity of the fingers theek hai fingers pe to there will be the swan neck deformity and the botanier's thumb will be in the fingers and also metacarpophalangeal joint pe there will be ulnar deviation so very important three things and see this is the botanier's deformity where there is flexion at the pip and there is extension of the dip okay and in toes you will have a special condition in rheumatoid arthritis that is hallux valgus yani ki jo hallux great toe hogi that will be deviated laterally that is outwards at the metatarsophalangeal joint here you can see so this is called as hallux valgus seen in rheumatoid arthritis in foot and in foot iske alawa you will have the hammer toe claw toe or the mallet toe mallet toe mallet finger jaisi hogi where there will be dip pe flexion in claw toe there will be flexion at both dip and pip and in hammer toe there will be flexion at only pip okay this is a typical rheumatoid arthritic x-ray of hand where there is destruction of the joints joint space dis, uh, dislocation periarticular osteopenia you can see okay now extra articular manifestations most commonly vasculitis ho sakta hai renaults phenomena mononeuritis multiplex leg ulcers arteritis or necrotizing arteritis which are uh, which can lead to death also and what is rheumatoid nodules very important rheumatoid nodules most common site is the olecranon okay and these are nodules found at the joint of the hands also and you have to differentiate it with the nodules of the osteoarthritis there can be inflammation of the serous membrane of the lung pleura heart i may iridocyclitis of the nervous system see these are the rheumatoid nodules most commonly in the olecranon nodules at the joint these are the rheumatoid nodules and blood may you will have elevated esr crp low hemoglobin rheumatoid factor and rheumatoid factor is igm type against the igg ka fc fragment which we have discussed and test ke se naam yaad rakhna hai latex fixation test rose waller test are used for the rheumatoid arthritis ke diagnosis mein and yaad rakhna rheumatoid factor positive hona is not the confirmatory of rheumatoid arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis hone hona is also not confirmatory of having rheumatoid factor positive okay now differential diagnosis mein sle hota hai but isme joint involvement is not symmetrical and there will be cheeks pe rash and all jo dusra hota hai and anti nuclear antibody can be present but it is not present in all cases of sle and very important is the osteoarthritis isme differentiation is very very important it is seen in older patients okay and there is no systemic features there is no vasculitis or cirrhosis nothing no systemic features and dip are very commonly involved and there is morning stiffness etc and morning stiffness mein bhi dono mein fark hota hai morning stiffness is prolonged in osteoarthritis and psoriatic arthropathies skin and nails pe psoriasis wale changes you will see and dip will be involved very commonly here you can see this is your normal joint hai na this is your normal joint in osteoarthritis cartilage is involved thin cartilage and in rheumatoid arthritis swollen and inflamed synovial membrane okay 
this is your osteoarthritis this is your rheumatoid arthritis you can see here the penis this is osteoarthritis my hand may last stage and there will be her herbidens nodules or herbidens node at the dip and yahan pe pip pe there will be special bochards nodes okay bochards nodes so herbidens and bochard nodes theek hai herbiden node honge dip pe and pip pe bochards nodes honge and metacarpophalangeal joint are spared okay see here you can see the arthritic joint decreased joint space okay and both the articular surfaces are rubbing against each other osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis ke differentiation or uh, it is present late osteoarthritis slowly progressive it is asymmetrical and it most commonly on the weight bearing joints unlike rheumatoid arthritis in the small joints which is symmetrical morning stiffness of osteoarthritis is less and it is more worse than the rheumatoid arthritis rheumatoid arthritis mein morning stiffness generally 1 hour se zyada tak hoti hai and in osteoarthritis stiffness जैसे ही आप थोड़ी एक्सरसाइजेस करते हैं आफ्टर फ्यू मिनट्स इट डिस सो रिमोटेड आर्थराइटिस में मॉर्निंग स्टिफनेस इज वर्स एंड देर कैन बी सिस्टमिक सिम्टम्स आल्सो ओके एंड इन रिमोटेड आर्थराइटिस दे नोड्यूल्स विल बी टेंडर सोलन एंड रेड अनलाइक द ऑस्टियो आर्थराइटिस ओके एंड मोस्ट कॉमन इज द ऑस्टियो आर्थराइटिस रिमेंबर ठीक है मोस्ट कॉमन इज द ऑस्टियो आर्थराइटिस okay we have discussed this all primary joint affected and all okay these are the important now treatment treatment jo hota hai wo first hota hai medicinal treatment yani remission karna hai and when there is acute exacerbation then again you have to do the remission and between this phase you have to maintain this these are the disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs and methotrexate is the drug of choice preservation by splinting and proper physiotherapy and if uh, joint is completely damaged you have to do the plasty total knee replacement or total hip replacement you have to do the plasty or the other reconstructive uh, uh, reconstructive surgeries and sometimes synovectomy also okay this was your treatment uh, Now ankylosing spondylitis very important इसका नाम आते ही आपको क्या याद आना चाहिए दिमाग में एच एल ए बी ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉजिटिव होता है एक्सिल स्केलेटन मोस्ट कॉमनली एंड फर्स्टली सेक्रो इलियक जॉइंट्स को इन्वॉल्व करता है इट इज अ क्रॉनिक प्रोग्रेसिव इन्फ्लेमेटरी डिजीज देर विल बी स्टिफनेस ऑफ द जॉइंट एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज मेरी स्ट्रोम्पेल डिजीज ओके एंड इट इज मोर कॉमन इन मेल्स and classical presentation will be in the young adult main uh, male with gradual onset of pain and stiffness in the lower back okay and pain ki ek typical feature hota hai isme this type of pain presents after a period of rest and improves with the movement so morning awakening or night awakening is a very common problem and deformity will be last mein jab pura spine involve ho jayega it will lead to bamboo spine with kyphotic deformity and there will be no motion and chronic inflammatory bowel disease it is mostly and very frequently associated with ulcerative colitis and also reactive arthritis of the knee reactive urethritis reactive iridocyclitis etc so stiff spine hoti hai test karne ke liye sacroiliac compression test hota hai ganzel test hota hai like in the image okay and also sla straight leg raising test and the pump handle test these are the test for checking si joint and the spine and for the cervical spine check karne ke liye in ankylosing spondylitis you have the flakey's test and for the thoracic spine involvement this is the flakey's test and for the thoracic spine involvement you need to measure the chest expansion if it is less than 5 cm it is pathological here you can see this is bamboo spine this is your si joint involvement 
okay and x-ray of this were uh,